Welcome to episode uh, 12 of season 3. It's the last episode. Ooh, blood pressure can go down for a couple of months. That's good. And then we we'll come back and bring it right back up. Anyway, uh, this week we're doing our Blurred episode. It's our last uh, kick at the can for the season. And we just wanted to go out on a fun, uh, loose episode. It's kind of long, but it's a good time. Uh, B Black and I welcome, uh, in the first segment, we welcome uh, Caroline O'Brien, who's a comedian out of Ottawa. Big nerd. And we talk about being black, being nerdy, and what, that's, what that is like. And in our second segment, we welcome back Daniel Grant from uh, from the podcast uh, Spoiled Rotten on ThatShelf.com, one of my favorite podcasts. And we talk about my favorite movie, Blade. Uh, I won't spoil the review, but we review the movie Blade. And, uh, you know, how else do you go out without, you know, the greatest or the first uh, superhero movie that kicked off the super movie franchise. So without further ado, here we are with uh, B. Black and I uh, welcoming uh, uh, Caroline O'Brien talking about B. So yeah, uh, this is Enjoy. it's 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 our nerd episode, our blurred episode, I guess, because we just we just talked about uh, Blade. We just did the review for Blade, and here we are talking about being a blurred in the last segment of the last episode of season three. Mm. Yeah, I know. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and so day after uh, the season premiere of Game of Thrones season eight. Yeah, after the after season eight of which I'm I'm like you know what I'm I think I'm just with Game of Thrones I'm I'm, I'm at the point where I'm like I guess I got to finish this now like I'm I'm not as excited as I was when it first the first three the first seven or first six seasons I loved. What? Last season was like meh. They speed it up. They said, "Hey, let's just get to the point, man." Boom, yeah, but like, boom, yeah, married. but they're boom. off book now. They're out of his books, True. and True. and yeah. they just seem like it's like it doesn't have the same as it used to be. But I mean, it's not terrible. I do like it. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, all right, let's finish it. Like, I gave up on a lot of TV shows this year because I was like, I can't put up with your shit anymore. <laughs> okay, just uh, just to give you guys a heads up, you're talking to a guy who 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 professes to love. Uh, Matrix one, two, and three. You like you right? like the two and the three. Perfect. All right. I don't want to hear shit. You, it, it was perfect. So you like battle. so you like fight fight philosophy philosophy fight 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 philosophy philosophy. Fight, like, philosophy. Yeah. No, I, I, I guess no. I'm saying like, I've I've come this far. There's mm-hmm. no way I'm gonna. Even if I hated the show, there's no way I'm telling you I hated the show. Yeah. You know I, mean? I loved it. It's great. No. I, yeah. Yeah. Fun. You've invested too much. Yeah, exactly. Caroline, yeah. are you are you watching the? Did you watch the premiere? Oh my god! Of course, I watched the premiere. I watched it last night and again today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you got to do the rewatch in case you missed anything. Yo, right? Same here. You, and, you, uh, a, you did a rewatch already? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't judge me. Well, I, no, I, no, I'm not. Ju- there's no judgment. I haven't. I'm I had going- some time while I was making dinner. I can multitask. I'm a modern <laughs> woman. <laughs> while you're making dinner. Good yeah. for you. No, I, j- I just watched it once. We got, my wife and I got Crave TV and right. just for this because uh, I'm like, I don't, I can't wait a day anymore. Sure. Agreed. The so, internet's going to ruin it for you. Yes. Agreed. And, and yes. actually Crave isn't bad. It's, it's not shit anymore. It's really good. Yes, so, a free preview of it for three months. It's not bad. No, yeah, it's it's pretty good. We sponsoring, we sponsoring Crave? Is that yeah, I know. You know I mean? <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that as soon as the three months are over. <laughs> I have the reminder in my phone. Yeah, no, there's an alarm to be like. <laughs> I got too many streaming services. Uh, gotcha. So yeah. would, would you would you guys, I asked you this off air, but would you guys describe yourself as blurred? And if if you do, or if you don't, why and what kind of blurred are you if you... It's kind of a, yeah. Okay. I'll go. I'm yeah. A, right, cool. yeah. I'm a very guess I'm first. A very, I'm a very specific blurred. Okay. Right. So okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. heavy into the Marvel comics. Yes. Uh, and like '80s cartoons. I'm like Dragon Ball Z. I was around originally, stepped what? away for a couple of years, and then came back a bit. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I don't do Harry Potter again. Uh-huh. Nope. Very light on the Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, but heavy, heavy into Marvel. I, I, I read the comics probably longer than most teenage girls definitely. Were. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I'm forty. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're Chris Claremont, X Men. <laughs> you're, you're like, yeah, you're Not my it. generation of Marvel. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. So you guys are the guys that uh, you guys are the folks that when uh, watching Marvel movies, the people ask the questions for absolutely backstory. Yeah. Yeah. Like that yeah. No, we're I, I I don't know about you, Caroline, but I'm even worse. I'll sit in a movie and start pointing out stuff where Correct. my wife doesn't give a Correct. shit. I'm like, you know what had actually happened in the comic is, but then in the alternate yeah. universe, you know why that the, person's there because of blah blah. It's like shut up. Yeah. I don't exactly. care. Yeah. Now see, they stole this storyline a little bit, and then they added it to that one to make something new here, and this is for the com- audiences coming in. Oh, okay. This yeah. Yeah, that's so, you're, you're like me. You're exactly like me. That's that's me. We're an asset to the community. Well, People you should love us. Y'all want to come? You to the earn with that us. knowledge. You have a PhD in that shit. You better yeah. share it. Hey, okay, computer programmers. What, what category of blurs is that? Is you know what I mean? Very blurred. I put that very blurred. Very blurred. Very blurred. Yes, yeah. because I don't have the attention span for this. <laughs> Can you program Pascal? So if you need Sorry. me to break down some stuff later in exchange for you setting up gotcha, something for gotcha, me, we can gotcha. do that. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. That's my 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 nerdiness is okay. So. Studied computers in school. Yeah. Uh, um, Matrix, Game of Thrones. Yeah. Um, I did not like uh, what's the other one there? That other fantasy. Um, uh, Star Trek. Star Wars. No, tra- Star Trek. I like. Yeah, Star Trek's um, awesome. Uh, Star Wars. Uh, I didn't get into Star Wars, man. Uh, what's uh, wrong with you? So I was I into the original. I, I was into the original it. Star Wars, and then they started doing. Uh, the prequels and that kind of threw me off. I wasn't as into them. I, okay. Let me let me just jump in on that. Yeah, you, the new Star Wars. I don't know about this new movie coming out, and I'm, I'm not uh-huh. counting Solo or the side projects, but the the sure. the main story. If you yeah. watch all of them, yeah, uh-huh. it is a story of class. It is it a story of classism. Than- it's amazing. Yeah. It seems better. I did watch The Force Awakens. Uh-huh. I didn't watch Rogue One. I need to catch up on that. Uh-huh. Um, and then I was looking at this other one. It looks better. Th- those seem better than the prequels because I saw the, I, the prequels and I was like, I'm not really. But this. but uh-huh. if you watch, did you watch Last Jedi? Yes. Okay, so the under if you if oh, walking into Last Jedi for me, I I watched a video on YouTube and now I under and, and a lot of questions about the the prequels were answered to me okay. when you look at the. When you look at the Jedi as not the good guys, right? When you look at them as like, um, yeah, okay. yeah, they're they're too that's much how on one side. They've always been positioned in the yeah. movies, right? They've yeah. always been positioned in the movies like they're the white hats. Yes, but the they're empire's been yeah, yeah. They're they're authoritarians and like you you know you can't have fun, you can't do shit, you, you can't have emotion. Mm-hmm. And so it all kind of makes sense when you watch it all together. That's why I like oh, Star that's Wars. That's an interesting take. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, and that's why you know at the end they like we got to destroy the Jedi. We're wrong. We're all wrong with this stuff. Uh, and, what was that? What was that? Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. What did you say. Go yeah, ahead. No, no. What was that when I came out the? Okay. This, this is when I finally started to understand uh, the hype be- behind Star Wars. And I'm not trying to say that I didn't like it, but I'm saying, oh, like. Um, the passion I have for the Matrix is mm-hmm. what how the uh, uh, Rogue One Rogue One did it for me. That one there, the Rebels yeah. and uh, and uh, uh, the Rebels. Yeah, I'm trying to act like I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm saying Rogue One did it for me. But that's all I'm going to say about Star Wars. <laughs> it's it's Vietnam, right? Like that's where you took the stories from. It's uh, yeah. yeah the, the that's this is uh, we talked about this on one uh, one some episode uh, a couple years oh, ago. Wow. Yeah, so the the rebels are the Viet, uh, the Vietnamese and uh, the imperial troopers are U.S. are the US, oh, United wow. States. So when they were getting mad at the Asian woman that was Vietnamese and the, you know how everyone was mad at her and they were like saying how she ruined Star Wars and they like chased her off it, the internet. It was like the irony of you this. stole her 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 culture. In a right. story, like and her actual history. Yeah, her actual history, and then you're mad that she's in it. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. So that's, that's fucked up. Yeah. I, yo, I thought Star Wars was about the uh, the American Revolution because no. the good guys were the rebels. No, and, he he based uh, it on the Vietnam War. Well, I'll be there. Yeah. Okay. He, right. Yeah, he based the whole thing on the Vietnam War. So okay. it, it, I, I really want to know what what your experience, uh, Caroline. Did you grow up in? Where did you grow up? So I grew up here in Ottawa, born okay. and raised. Um, but I had an older, I had an older brother. He was nine years older, so he was closest in age to me. So, you know, the youngest sibling usually gravitates to them. So I kind of got caught up in all that stuff, right? Like comics and yeah. stuff like that. I was reading X Men. I think I got caught sneaking magazines in like second grade. I got like a lot of detention. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> yeah, like I was, I was, I was reading like X Men. Okay. I was reading. I mean, Deadpool was my favorite character when wow. I was eight. 
Oh wow. wow! Yeah, which in hindsight was oh. probably not healthy. But no. <laughs> he was my <laughs> favorite character for the longest. Well, what, what was it like being like a black nerd growing up in Ottawa? That sounds like a really unique experience. Every uh, being black in Ottawa in the eighties was a unique. Yeah, experience. Unique experience, I know, right? So I, for me specifically, I was already put into French immersion. My parents are Jamaican immigrants. Uh-huh. Yeah, my mom put me in French immersion because this is a very bilingual city. Correct. So in most of my classes anyways i was the only black kid maybe there was another one yep. so Ditto. feeling odd quote unquote odd man out mm. was the norm anyways was, yeah to be a bit of a weirdo yeah but i was never i was never that girl who was into like um barbie and my little pony which you know freaked my out my very pony. yeah it freaked out my very caribbean mom in the 80s mm. right? she was <laughs> fairly <laughs> certain i was going to be a lesbian so there was a lot of church involved <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah 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 there was a lot of church and like mandatory skirts being worn uh because i wanted to have like gi joe and he-man toys oh word oh okay. yeah, yeah. I, had a, I had i had the original voltron collection don't come wouldn't that be the ob- wouldn't that be like the opposite of gay if you're like collecting muscle muscle dudes like hyper sexualized looking <laughs> pecs you, and- <laughs> you would think so but because they classified them as boy toys right. I must yeah. be boy so right. but um uh-huh. so she was yeah she was really concerned about that so it, it wasn't unusual for me to feel odd man out I was never into what other girls were into I wasn't mm-hmm. I wasn't like anybody else anyways so uh-huh. it felt like the norm and that actually the comics for me kind of felt like the safe place okay and right because it, all these guys are odd ones out yeah so, so you read a lot of X Men and stuff like that. Did yeah? Did you ever like hang out in a lot of like nerd communities? Which I'm, I'm trying to get like, what's it like being a black nerd in Ottawa in the '80s around like uh, white kids who are nerdy and like the ownership that that white dudes have I, of this so, culture. As far as community, oh, okay. I would hang out with like a lot of other like white guys primarily. I didn't know any girls right. who were into the comics at all. Yeah. Right. So I ended up hanging out with a bunch of like guy friends who were really into it. And we'd all, That's you know, do the nerdy <laughs> stuff. Like, because I went to school with uh, a lot of rich kids. Right? Okay. Yeah. I went to okay. I went to Rockwood Park, so that's where a lot oh. of yeah. So damn. <laughs> damn, a lot of kids who went there, like their parents are. You guys um, are dropping you know, your Ottawa stuff, and I have no okay. fucking clue. <laughs> it's like um, is it is it Forest Hills? Is that what it is in? Toronto? Okay, oh, Forest so Hill? yeah, okay, upper, uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah, 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 money. Like people, like I went to school with kids whose parents were uh, members of Parliament or architects Jeez. and CFOs. Your mom sent you there? My well, it was for French immersion, so that's where I got bust in. Okay, no, no, mama. I mama. I lived in I lived in subsidized housing. My mom was a housekeeper. Don't get it twisted. Oh no, no, but so, I've seen, she must have sacrificed. Yeah, that must have been a big deal. so yeah. there's a big so there was already a big disparity, but I yeah. was. I was going to school with kids whose parents had tons of disposable uh, income and would have like a mad comic book collection. Okay. So nice. after school, you know, you'd ride your bike over and hang out at Gordon's house and he had all the comics. What was that name you used? Gordon. 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 <laughs> Gordon. Okay, sorry. Gordon. Yeah, so but but you never felt like you never felt like you were ostracized or anything like that. Um, I gotta jump in on this one. <laughs> maybe yeah. like ostracized, like just, ostracized, like just kind of like you, like you never felt like you were connected to the culture, or you. Were, when I say culture, the, the comic book, yeah, the comic book uh, scene, the the nerd scene, like you never were made to feel like you were like, nah, this ain't your shit. Oh, I mean, yeah, absolutely, especially as a girl coming in. Yeah, right. for him being a black girl, but as a girl right. coming in, yeah, yeah, everyone's looking at you like. Okay, she must like some guy here. Especially as I got older as a teenager. Yeah. You know, that's the assumption. Like, it's, it's probably similar for anybody who's not in a blur. Like, if you're yeah. a sports fan or female sports fans, they're right. like, mm-hmm. oh, her boyfriend must really like hockey or her yeah. boyfriend must be into football. And that's gotcha. where she learned it from. Uh-huh. I also they don't understand. Yeah. I ahead. also find, like, nerds, when they see, like, a, a, a woman in, like, a comic book store or something, they, like, they automatically think, like, this is, like, a love match thing. Uh-huh. One hundred percent. Yeah, they just like oh, one hundred percent. Like the creep, the creeping, and the sidling up to you. Right. <laughs> you turn around and you be like, "Whoa, hey, what's up?" <laughs> <laughs> there's smoke bomb just smoke appears they're like I'm hello like they show up they show up like Batman so, so, you had, so you had white nerdy kids come, coming up to you all of them all of them not just the whites <laughs> oh, oh okay okay but, not you, you know, just like, hey, the whites uh. especially 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 once the boobs start to come in oh right right gotcha okay okay Look, yeah. I'm thinking of the pickup line that uh that, uh, that the, but, but the know, pickup line is usually, "Are you buying something for your boyfriend?" That's the that's pickup the pickup line, line? Easy. because yeah. they want to see if you're single or if not. Single. And, if, and are you really into comics? Or are you buying something for your boyfriend? Who? Holy shit! So they get all that information in that one question. Yep. 
Agreed. Yeah. yeah, but it also like kind of insulting. Like you can't be there for 100%, your own shit. One hundred percent, Gavin. But yeah. welcome to being a woman. What the fuck, Gavin? <laughs> Holy shit! Who thought you are? I, I remember <laughs> when Wonder Woman came out. Gail Simone, who was writing on, I think it was yeah, it was Gail Simone who was writing yep. on Wonder Woman. That's right. Uh, some dude in line was explaining Wonder Woman to her. That's right. Yeah, I, fuck. I, think, I think she tweeted about that, didn't she? Yeah, she did. It was just yeah. like, what the fuck is wrong with yeah. people? You know what? It's just better to keep your mouth shut and don't assume shit in this day and age. Don't but assume shit. People want to prove that they're the smartest person in the room. Mm-hmm. And it's right. ego at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. And it really, it's just ownership of products. That's yeah. really what it is. It's just like ownership. Okay, get, let me let me um uh, sorry, flip, B. Flip, 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 flip this idea, right? Let me play devil's advocate here. No, uh, I'm kidding. So, uh, I, I know you guys are talking about ownership, but for me, what I found, my nerdism, um, I hit it around black kids. <laughs> Just and when I say black kids, I don't mean black kids, because I, I, it's funny, I never crossed path with people like uh, Caroline back then. Yeah. But I'd be around, you know, the wannabe thugs, the wannabe, yeah. uh, the, 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 the athletes, the, and everything like that. And I was trying to fit in with these guys, and it never happened, you know, and instead of embracing my black nerdism, I was always uh, pretending to be something I wasn't. It's, yeah, well, we get forced a lot to. Oh, sorry, Gavin. I mean, no, no, go me, ahead, go ahead. We get we get stuck a lot. I think as black people, whether it's men or mm. women, into like those standard stereotypes and those right. tropes, right? right? Like you better be into sports. Right. You better be an alpha male. Yep. You better know about you know working out. Yep. Maybe you worry about the next dance move and the new Jordans that are coming yep. out. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, and yeah. I'm supposed to be worried about yeah. weave. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, <laughs> the like, latest twerk video or whatever is happening. It's like Patrice O'Neal said it. It's like nothing's lonelier than the black tuba player. It's just the that's the loneliest <laughs> person is the black tuba yeah. player. It's yeah. just you gotta really love tuba. <laughs> yeah, because you're not playing the saxophone, no, you're not playing the drums. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a right? nerdy life. You're not playing life. the trumpet yeah, where you yeah. can get down. Gotcha. Yeah, 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 the saxophone we get. You back there gotcha. in the tuba by yourself. You oh, also- <laughs> yeah, there's 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 like a you really it's like. Like, like it, it's it's standpoint theory to another level because, like, as a black person, you can see what's wrong with the system, and then I guess as a woman, you would even see it more. And then you're a nerd, so then you're like, oh, I I can see what's wrong with my own community as well. It's like you got to yeah. step out of all this shit to look at things. It's like, yeah, it's it's it, it's a it's yeah. a really weird choice because really being a uh, a nerd is a choice. It's something you, uh-huh. you, you enjoy, but it's a choice that we made right. to, like, Jesus. Embrace it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's, a, that's why I want to say shout out to the information age. I think <laughs> the information age yeah. made yeah. it possible for us black nerds to flourish. Mm. Yeah, I mean, there's a really good community on Facebook that I follow. Mm. Uh, the It's the extraordinary journey of the black nerd. Oh, and I, it's ooh. a whole group. Like, it's a heavy, heavy community. Oh, oh. I should check it out. Okay. I when I, I started going to comic uh, comic book conventions in Montreal, like I stopped for a long time, and then I started going to Montreal. I started running into black nerds like crazy, and I, 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 they're like it's an island of refuge when you find a black nerd at a comic book convention. I agree. It's just yeah, like, yeah. oh my god, you are the greatest. I would imagine you'd be like, I've been waiting for you my whole life. Yes, <laughs> it, 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 you say that sarcastically, but it's no, so I mean tr- it. yeah, it is so true. It's like I wish you were there in high school. I wish you were. Yeah, yeah. Before I forget, okay. I gotta give a shout out to my cousin Johnny because he was the he was a black nerd and he was the one person that I felt cool being myself around with. Like he was into anime and all that shit. Isn't that relaxing? Me. Is, eh? is, yes. Isn't that yeah. so relaxing to just be yourself? And agree. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. Most def- I th- I don't know. See, I don't feel mm-hmm. like. Mm. I don't know that I've ever had that. Like, I've had it with other nerds. Like, okay, okay so I went to Iceland earlier this year, Gavin. Yeah, yeah. And one of the things that was really big for me was to take the Game of Thrones tour. Oh, wow. Where oh, they wow. Shot season seven, episode six, where Jon Snow meets the White Walkers on the lake and they have the standoff. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Right? Uh-huh. So I went there. I got to see it. Literally uh-huh. one other girl was uh-huh. geeking out with me. <laughs> and it was like, we saw each other and I was like, yes, boo. Nice. Yes, yes. Like, we got it. <laughs> And then, like, on the other side of the glacier, they'd shot Hard Home. Like, when we first, first yes. meet the White Walkers, right? Yeah. They attack all the, um, the the free folk. Yeah. yeah. And her and I were asking, like, a million and one questions. Right. Then I started asking questions about Sense8, and she was not with it with me. What? Because I shot scenes of Sense8 there also. Oh. And then I, I was that. like, I'm alone again. I'm oh, alone okay. Again. Gotcha. It was, yeah. a, it was a two two season show on Netflix. It's actually made by the Wachowski. Yeah. I, I, my, people were saying it was good, and people were saying it was bad. I never watched it. 
I uh, only watched the first season. I didn't okay. watch the second after I heard it got canceled. I will go back to it. And then apparently they gave it a proper like two hour movie uh-huh. tie up. And it was a very expensive show to shoot because they shot all over the world. Okay. Okay. I, I I just watch uh, if it just kind of if you're into Netflix shows that are pretty nerdy. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you watch. Uh, was it Love, Sex, and Robots? Yeah, I, it's on my list. I have not. Told it's it yet. so good. Oh, you saw B? I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. fucking awesome. I want it. Yeah. Easter episode. weekend. What else is going you know on? What yeah. I mean? My yeah. favorite uh, episode is uh, Beyond the um, Beyond the something Rift. There. Which one was uh, that? I can't see sh- the one uh, where. Um, uh, they're going for light speed. Oh yeah, yes, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a I great guess, one. Anything, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he uh, wants to. You can spoil it. I'll live. No, no. Oh, you gotta oh, see oh, it. They're they're like all like see. fifteen at the longest is probably like twenty minutes. Yeah. They're oh, okay. All, so yeah, it's, it's an anthology. Anthology. Yeah. I saw that it was a series, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get on this one. I'm gonna have some time. <laughs> yeah. And 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 then like for me also, Deep Space Nine is always in rotation, so I'll watch that every Amazing. one. Deep, Deep uh, Space Nine. Deep Space Nine. It's my favorite Star Trek show. Amazing. Yeah. Hey. Really, you like it more than the Next Generation? Oh yeah. Okay. It's so Black Star Trek. It's it's not, Cisco. Oh, word is Black Star Trek. I, yeah, I, Cisco. I, so they're Black yeah, Captain. No, no, I liked it. Yeah, because the Captain is black. I did. I did like it. I think it was harder for me to wrap around because I felt like mm, it's a space station, but it's good because people uh, come to them. You, you I don't know. I just like Next Generation. You know? Yeah. Maybe that, because that was the first one to get me back in after the original. Yeah, Next Generation is like that. Magic. You're right. It's it's one of those shows where it's like, but that's yeah. It's it, that's when it's like, oh, Star Trek's back. But Deep yeah. Space Nine is the beginning of like. Um, of uh, a serial, the way they did serial, because the writers from that went on. To, you'll see it. Did you guys watch the new? Uh, well, it's not new anymore, but the the remake of Battlestar it. Galactica. Oh, I did not. Hey, okay, talking about that shit. Yeah, my, no, my my nerdy friends reject me because I have not seen Battlestar. Oh, Galactica. you guys are. This is shameful shit right here. Oh, right, not <laughs> bad. Hey, you too. Yeah, Holy shit, even the brothers and sisters. <laughs> you guys didn't watch. You didn't watch the remake of Battlestar. Oh, it was so good. Damn. Yeah. I that I watched the original that heavy. I didn't watch it that heavy. I had toys from it. I didn't watch it that heavy. I was a kid. I didn't really get it. But the new one was so good. Anyway, the, the writers from that, the creators of that were from Deep Space Nine. And you'll see a lot of okay. parallels to it. Okay. Yeah. That was dope. I, I know a lot of people really didn't like it. But I was a big fan of Star Trek Voyager as well. I'm waiting. Okay. Yeah, I like Voyager too. The hate. <laughs> oh, okay, I thought I thought Gab was gonna be like trash. No, no, I liked Voyager. You know what's a great episode of Voyager was that one when they visit the planet, and I always think about this. They, they they're in a different time, like their time is moving slower than the planet, and the yes. planets be it's there's yes. actually yeah, and the planets like developing really quickly. Yes. Yeah, that was a great episode. That was dope. That, <laughs> that was like the nerdiest thing iconic. I've ever it's seen. It's iconic, like the original Star Trek where Captain Kirk fucked the Green Girl. Oh, word. oh okay. yeah. Okay. Can never really? forget it. Yeah. Do you guys think a, a black man could be in charge of the Enterprise? Yes. Why not? There's a black woman now for Star Trek Discovery. Yeah, but she's not in charge. Black woman? Yeah. Did you ever watch The Walking Dead? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So remember Sasha? Yeah. Sasha is she? Well, part of the reason she left the show, she's on. She's doing. But Star she's Trek not Discovery. in charge. Uh, she hasn't she's been. Not in charge. She's not in charge yet. But I don't know if my inner Uncle Ruckus would allow give it a minute. Captain you know I mean? Captain Cisco. He had the Defiant. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Cisco. Yeah, from Deep Space Nine. Okay, you guys saying a bunch of names. And you got to watch the De- watch Deep Space Nine. Deep yeah, Space the captain, the captain. Yeah, watch Wolverine, Deep Space Nine. Space Nine. He was a black man. Okay, okay, but come on, like real. Black it was man? like no, he's a real black man. <laughs> I mean, it was sorry. like it was like on twenty four. Remember where we had the black president? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was okay. black. Okay, okay, okay. You know what I love is like the just like ten minutes before we were talking about how being black and nerdy is like the stereotypes you have to break apart, and then B's like, but he's a real black man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I like, bust a cap on your planet, like, so I don't get what I want. Yeah. On your planet, he's like he's like, is he a blue eyes black? Is he like that Michael Ely, you know I mean? Gary Kate. Dorton situation? <laughs> is he out there like? Is he out there like Tom from the Boondocks, neighbor Tom? You know I mean? Well, you know, Robert. Purpose <laughs> silly. No, okay, okay, all right, all right. Uh, so. B, what was it like for you growing up? Did I ask you? Did we talk about that? You, you're a nerdy. Uh, no, so I said, you know, um, my nerdiness. Yeah, no. So my nerdiness was with my white friends. You know, as long as shit doesn't get racial. Yeah. <laughs> <We don't... laughs> how did you avoid no, uh, that? Like, how did you avoid you know, shit not getting? Fiction. How did you avoid yeah, shit fiction. not getting racial with your white friends? Wait, wait. No, no. Okay, so so there's one white friend who. 
introduced me to Commodore 64. I will always, or was it a VIC-20? Oh, fuck. One of those computers. So yeah. It was that guy. Uh, there was, uh, no, okay, I think, I think, no, I, don't want, I was going to say I dropped my nerdiness in high school. But no, no, that's not true. Um, the only thing that changes, okay, so at first I was going to say I wasn't into comic books, but does, like, Asterix, does that count as comic books? What is it's that? A, it's, a, it's like a graphic novel, Asterix. So it's like a French. Oh yeah, I know. As- uh, yeah, I used to watch that. On... It's racist as hell. Yeah, yeah as absolutely. Hell, you know I mean? Dang, dang, all that shit. Yeah, isn't that you, that I read. isn't that European racism too? Like that? Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 Yes. yeah, yeah. 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 Where they, but they forced lip. it upon us in schools here. Like they'd be like, "It's movie day, guys," uh, and then you'd shit, see a black yeah. guy and his lips were like, oh, you know, fuck. the size of a watermelon, and like <laughs> yeah. neon paint. And you're the only black kid in the all white class having to read this shit. One hundred percent. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, everyone, time for book reports. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna act out scenes. <laughs> Caroline, Keep stop crying. Caroline, stop I'll- crying and read the book. <laughs> One no, one no tears, homie. I was in the office. I was an activist even back then. Oh, where oh, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Kicked out. Where are they? I'm not doing it. Now Good for I'm you. Gonna... Call my mama. Good Call for you. Her. Yeah. I. Uh... You guys remember uh, To Kill a Mockingbird? Yes. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I get the feeling my uh, my, my teacher. Just let me pass that course <laughs> because you didn't want any problems. <laughs> I don't remember what that book was about. I just remember there was an N-word in there. Like, what the fuck? And I was going through my peak, peak angry black guy face. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Kill you crackers if I have to read the rest of the shadow. And, and I had like one of those really timid white people. It's like, hey, hey, let's all get together. Anyways. I remember in high school, I remember when the, I remember. remember the piano came out? Remember that movie? Yes. Okay, so it was like this movie about like this woman that had her hands cut off or something. She played piano. Anyway, so uh, we were laughing at the poster, me and some friends, and this white dude was like, oh, well, he's like, you guys don't like culture. I'm like, that's your culture. <laughs> he just walked away. <laughs> 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 just <laughs> that was my too, baby. Yeah, I, think, yeah. I think as I got older like once I got out of grade 6 cause you know people are like guys are looking at girls girls yeah. are looking at guys and you're yeah. and it's less of I can be friends with these guys like just friends with them mm-hmm. right. um, I think I got better at hiding mm. my blurtism as it were cause the yeah. girls didn't really get it okay, do you know okay. what I mean like they okay. weren't understanding it and I was still good like I knew the Janet Jackson dance moves right. from the video mm-hmm. yeah, don't get yeah. it twisted I could uh, I could, you know, for uh, lack of a better term, I was code switching in yeah, that way. Agreed. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and I just and I just hit it more. I think I probably stopped with the comics when I was like fifteen or sixteen mm. in high school. Okay. And that was just because it was getting harder and harder. I had to make more and more of an effort. Okay. To yeah. To keep up with that. Well, yeah, because you don't want to be ostracized. Like that's like. Right. And people find out that you, especially at that age, when they find out that you got something and, that's and like. And boys don't like a, a lot of guys. Listen, it goes one of two ways for the girls. Mm-hmm. Either the dude is totally into it, mm-hmm. uh-huh. or okay, he's okay. totally turned off of it. Jeez. Uh, that turned to comic books and shit? Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, not, okay. Not, yeah, not... They're either really into it, Word. whereas as, and then that's really hard because they don't want to do anything else but hang out and read comic books with you. Yeah, I, I assume it's the same thing for girls who date gamers. Oh, I see. Do you know what I mean? Okay. That makes or sense, though. guys are completely turned off of it. That makes oh. sense. They, like Dudes do that with like uh, uh, w- uh, women comedians. Where they're less like, if you're too funny, like, because, yeah, it's just like, uh, it's. I'm aware, Gavin. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. It's so, it's so lonely. Yeah, yeah. Where it's just, just so like. so lonely out here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to tell you what, what happens to you. No, 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 yeah. no, no. I've, I've, I've seen it and I get it. And I think, yeah. um, you know, especially being like a comic, you know, you've got it, you've got this personality, you've got a big personality, mm-hmm. you can command the room and they can follow you. Right. And for some people, that's very intimidating. I think that goes for, oh. for, 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 Men is probably a little bit easier because you know you guys get that whole rock star syndrome thing where gotcha. girls maybe flock to you, but for some guys it's intimidating. They don't want a woman who's that way. And I think I felt that way a lot about the comics and the Marvel stuff, anyways, to begin with. Uh, well, I don't necessarily lead with that if I'm starting to talk to somebody. Okay, okay. But if they you, mention that they're kind of into it, I'm like, oh no. At forty, at forty, you don't lean in with your Marvel comic shit. Okay, first. well, okay. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gavin doesn't know all my backstory. I'm, I'm recently, I'm recently single again. I'm, re- I'm going through a divorce. So you don't lean in with your Marvel comic stories? You know what? Can Tinder? I tell you something? I did. I put it on. I put it on Bumble. I put Marvel over DC unless it's animated. Oh, good for you. 
And okay. it was, <laughs> bruh, it was fucking crickets. Oh, what? Why, really? And yeah. Uh, yeah, and then I got rid of it, uh-huh. and it was like match, 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 and that was the only thing I changed. Oh, Wait that a was, second, that was, that was the only thing I changed on my profile. I'm not even joking. That's fucking weird. Word. I I feel like there needs to be like a nerd bumble or ten. Oh, oh gotcha. wow, that's like, that's like a, for, that's a like business. You can pick uh-huh. specific fan. Bitch, if any of you steal it, that's mine. <laughs> it's mine. I want 25 off the top. I just I just want to see you uh, start, like, approach someone using comics as the first thing you do. That's the uh, first thing. Um, you know what? Okay, so here's here's the thing. I was already planning, because I had this conversation with my friend, that there's absolutely no guys to meet on these dating apps. It's absolute trash. I need to meet somebody in real life. I'm looking for friend referrals. But to prove the point, because they're like, you haven't talked to every guy. So I'm proving a point to them for 30 days mm. um i'm doing it this summer because you know summer's getting gets get season mm. uh get that ass season <laughs> i I'm have do no all idea the apps. I, I know but that's what happened <laughs> okay they, they're out on the patios the girls are wearing less clothes oh yeah oh yeah okay i've you, seen that i've seen that sorry what it yeah. used to be like for you before before you fell deeply madly in love. yeah no it's not even that it's like it's not even i mean i, I do love my wife but i mean like it's not yeah. even like oh i'm above it it's just i don't have the energy for it like i really no, don't No, i get it i, I, I get it but here's the thing like an effort really right. has to be made yes. at right. this point like to be honest and i'll because i'm not just gonna meet somebody unless he breaks into my house <laughs> 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 and, and then I should probably not be trying to date him logically. <laughs> and then you have so to talk I, to them. Oh. I, well, I mean, depending on what we want to talk about, it's not bad. But <laughs> so I had, I had, I, I'm going to do this this summer. I'm going on all the dating apps, like literally okay. all of them, like yeah. Tinder, Match, uh-huh. Bumble, Hinge, Wow, Plenty of Fish, okay. eHarmony. I'm going to do them all for okay. 30 days. Okay. Uh-huh. I feel uh-huh. like I can exhaust. From here to at least Montreal, okay. <laughs> okay, which is 250 the, kilometers. The radius, the, okay. Well, shit, am I really going to do Toronto? Come on now. <laughs> the, 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 I'm going to see him. <laughs> but I figure if I can exhaust that uh-huh. and prove my point, then I can start telling my friends, be like, all right, Sounds it's like time a, for friend referral time. Let's go. Uh, it's like a podcast. Let, let me ask you a question. Are you doing a yes. podcast about it? I was thinking about writing like an article about it. I can definitely do a podcast. You should do you a podcast about it. It's probably easier to do a podcast. And pro- more immediate. Mm. This sounds like a great idea. Do you like a yeah. once a week update? Yeah, a once a week update. <laughs> but you've got to remember, though, there's things that are very specific, right? Like I'm a black woman. We're already very right. yeah. we're low. We're low on the bottom. We're like with the Asian mm. men. Don't nobody want us. Mm. Mm. Well, yes. Yeah. A, a native women mm. are like, uh, forget about it. And then, yeah, that t- that hierarchy is like hell. It's a hell hierarchy. Yeah. <laughs> The only good news is that I have one kid. I don't have like three following me around. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the only thing. Like, I don't want you to be the stepdad. And you're not taking her, on, taking them on the date, are you? Like, <laughs> no. But that's... I mean, some of them, some of them will see it and then be like, "Oh, how many kids?" Because I'll put on the profile like, "Have kids, but don't want more." Gotcha, gotcha. Right. Uh-huh. And then he's like, "Well, how many kids do you have?" And I'm like, "Just, I'm like one." And he's like, "Oh, okay." Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you don't know if you're getting a divorced lady. And what I mean, yeah. she's got four, and she tells gotcha. you, "I've got four, two through six. And you're like, "Damn." <laughs> Do you want to form a band? Do you? <laughs> yeah. I got nine kids. <laughs> I'd be. That's when I'd be asking, like, were they all seasoned or how they get here? You'd be the Black Fawn Trap family, yeah. <laughs> wandering through Switzerland with your band. Uh, it's from the Sound of Music. I'm sorry, guys. No, I know it. Okay, good. I know it. Okay, good. I don't know. To be, do you know Sound of Music? Which one? S- the Sound of Music. That's uh, Key Sarah Sarah there? Yes, K okay. Sarah, or yeah. The only what? reason I remember that is because of a Family Guy episode. Okay. Uh, d- my okay, sister good. used to watch it every Christmas. She for- 100%. Or... That was a girl thing to do. Yeah, oh, really? every Christmas I had to watch that shit. That one, The Princess Bride? Yes. Okay. Oh, or Grease. I had to watch Grease. Oh, oh God, no. that movie is trash. Yeah, I wish yeah. Would burn it. Yeah. yeah, thank you. And Dirty Dancing. I don't understand why that. My wife loves really? Dirty Dancing. It should be banned yeah, I don't... Under, the Me- under the Me Too movement. Where? I... Oh wow, seriously. There's a there's a lot of problematic shit. Basically, the only movie you can enjoy from the '80s 
is the Transformers movies. That's it. That's the <laughs> only true. one you because there's no problematic shit I've in that. Watch it several times. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about the cartoon. The one, cartoon right? one, yes. The cartoon yeah. one from the eighties. Yes, yeah. Yeah. that one, and I let him watch the like the original Voltron cartoon. Mm, yeah. Oh, the Voltron yeah. TV show is really good on Netflix. Yeah. It's really yeah. good. Oh, no, it was good. And then I was like, you know, Mommy used to be in this. And I showed him my, because I have my original Voltron. I won't let him play with it. Oh, wow, you do. You do? Yes, I told you that. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. Huh. I won't let him play with it. Uh So then we went and we watched, like, the old cartoons from, like, the 80s. Oh, they're trash. Okay. Children like them. And I like to be nostalgic, Gavin. Yeah, no, I know. (laughs) I I, I, I love G.I. Joe cartoons. I tried to watch Transformers again. Those are horrendous. That and Thundercats. Oh, God, the original Thundercats. Yeah, it's terrible. Don't do it. If you you have a soft spot in your heart for it, Uh don't ever watch it again. They remade it, like, uh, probably like... They did, yeah. Yeah. That's right. And it wasn't bad. It it wasn't bad. It only lasted one season, though, for whatever reason. Yeah. Uh. But oh, so you you're you're like you're into cartoons like me too. Like, oh yeah, yeah, the '80s cartoons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, no, no. But if they come back with them, or like like you like I said, like DC Animation right now is mm. tops. It's yeah, it, it, it's getting. It, 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 there was a point where uh, you know what? Because Bruce that. Tim's back in it, so yes. The Justice League Unlimited is like my favorite cartoon. It's the, it's the best. It's that the, series. Oh, the cartoon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah sure. When it went from okay, Justice yeah. League and then it translated to Justice League Unlimited, yeah. I was like, yeah. I'm here for it. It's it, it, all of this young and the restless and animated superhero. Form. Yes, it, this is why I love DC because of the weird. Like I'm watching Doom Patrol right now. I love those. Ha! <laughs> I haven't started watching it yet. But go ahead. I love weird characters. I love yeah, weird. Yeah. Like yeah, they have some great weird care. But I, I did you I, watch Titans on Netflix yet or no? I watched it before I went on Netflix. I you know okay. the animation one. The, yeah. the... It's not animated. It's live action. Yeah, I see that. One, I yeah. watched it. It was uh-huh. a struggle. Yes, it was a struggle. It, yes. Yeah, it was. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It was yeah. a struggle. Yeah. Teen yeah. Titans so Go they... is better. Oh well, Teen Titans Go is tons of fun. Yeah, it's right? it's, it's silly just and stupid. It, yeah, it's stupid and fun. But like, yeah. but Doom Patrol is done by the same people, but it's so much better. It's like so All much right. better. Okay, I'm gonna get on. Yeah, because I was I was sitting there and I was like I was like oh snap it's out already and I was like however many episodes in I'm like I'll just wait for the season to be done then and binge it. Uh huh. Do um, sorry, go ahead. Does Walking Dead classify as a nerd? Yeah, absolutely. It should. It's fantasy. Yeah, man. Fantasy. Yeah. Okay. Apocalyptic. Sure, bring it. Are Are you guys into any of this Afrofuturism? It's It's making a comeback again. I guess because of Black Panther. Are you guys doing any of that? Oh. I I haven't watched anything with it. Yeah. I do follow a couple Instagram accounts where they'll do uh, features in, like, fan art and stuff mm-hmm. in that style. So somebody had done, like, grown-up versions of the characters from Boondocks. Oh. Which was really dope to okay. see. Okay. But I haven't checked out anything in particular. Is there something that you'd recommend? No, like, I, I, I started reading a book. I really... I'm st- I'm just tipping dipping my toe in it as I go okay. after okay. Black Panther and I'm like I I'm, I want to read some Octavia Butler stuff and I I, yeah. I just want to see what that's oh, like. Man. Pardon? Octavia Butler. Yeah, she's a, a she's a black science fiction writer. Well, was she's dead, but yeah. she wrote bla- uh, uh, science fiction. She was a black writer wrote science fiction. Was she involved in the Matrix? Is that is No, 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 that's not her. But I know what you're talking about, but that's not her. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. but that's not her. Okay, but yeah, it, yeah, it, I I I know you talking about yeah 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 she uh she influenced some of the storyline to Black Panthers is that uh, what I heard something like I that? I don't I couldn't tell you that how how come you like the Matrix so much oh. eh? yeah how come you like the Matrix I I, I, I like didn't mean it like that I, I didn't mean it like she said oh no, it. that's how he said it that doesn't matter <laughs> I didn't say it I'll, like I'll that. repeat it for you why do you like the Matrix so much <laughs> who doesn't like the Matrix the I love the Matrix over. what do you mean you don't like the Matrix I love the Matrix I think the, the sequels were. My problem, I was there. I still showed up for them, though. Yeah. So shut up. I know, right? Although half the world showed up for them, and then they were like, yeah. oh, what are we showing up for? Right. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, those goddamn Wachowskis. Uh, Remember that to be continued ending? What yeah. the fuck for the second one? <laughs> Neo, you are the one, and the one is the one, but the one cannot be the one without the one. I was like, this bitch is having an aneurysm. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> the and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Apropos, yeah. I still don't understand what he was talking about. Like, I, I it, it's like I love going to a movie and feeling like a moron. <laughs> that that thing, it's just like <laughs> I miss, <laughs> I miss something. That's that's how they used to do it back then. Because then you'd be like, I gotta go buy the DVD because it didn't make sense. I have to rewind it and watch it. They should instead of 3D glasses, they should hand you like an IT manual and go. <laughs> you know, you're gonna have to read this at the end part. 
<laughs> Yo, I love this. I love this information age we're living in now. Because now you can just, you know, uh, Matrix explain. This, okay, explain. so what did you? Yeah, love what did about you the like? Matrix so much. Okay, so the philosophy, the idea yeah. of uh, the real world and the uh, uh, and the, uh, the fake world, the, the red the, pill. The, yeah, the simulation. The okay, I'm, I'm trying to really what got me to it. Okay, so there was the action scenes. And plus, I've, I've, I've always been a... Uh, the action scenes were dope. Like, yeah, they, they, yeah they, 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 they were, like, way ahead of their time. Yeah. But, but I'm, I've always been, like, a... Okay, I want to say deep thinker. Not, I'm not uh, Aristotle or anything like that. But I'm just saying, I like... To get lost in your thoughts? Like, exactly, in the what if? Exactly. Yeah, all kinds of things like that. So, uh, I just love the idea of... Um, uh, what if com- the robots are controlling us right now? And this isn't your real life. This isn't the real life, exactly. But the the philosophy behind it too is, even I'm I'm finding myself every once in a while wishing I was thinking, you know, you know, Cipher had a point. I'm just saying, Cipher, put me back in the Matrix. Just don't tell me. Make uh, me famous and rich. Make me famous, exactly. Just tell tell me what the fuck's going on outside. What was what was the what was the place where everyone's dancing half naked? Oh, Zion. Yeah, you notice how most of them were black people. There's a reason for that. It's standpoint theory. We can't get back in the matrix, right? Like we see what the system is. That's that was the point of that. Whoa! We see the system. Wide. Okay. Gotcha. The system isn't designed for us. The system isn't designed for us. We're the ones on the outside. See? Exactly. See, yeah. we're yeah. we're blowing minds on this episode, Mind man. Just popping them. Just popping I'm them. Sober right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know yeah, I like I like the first major. I'm with you on that, B. I like the first. I although yeah, the yeah. first one was dope. Yeah, uh. although the term red pill has been co opted by like the uh, yeah a ton yes. yeah, yeah. yeah a yeah. ton yeah. yeah, but I still like it. I, I'm with you on that. The, the other two though, like when she was eating the cake and got an orgasm, I was just like, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> She's eating cake okay. and then it turns to digital shit and she gets an <laughs> orgasm. I'm like, come on. Listen, uh, listen, listen. You don't uh, know how hard it is for women out here. You let her get hers wherever she can get it. God damn it. I'm not begrudging the woman. Have your <laughs> orgasm. I'm just... <laughs> I don't need... Well, you better make that clear. <laughs> I don't need it to be a screensaver. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you don't need it to be like a digital. That was for the nerds. That was for the nerds. They're like, yeah. <laughs> For a long time. Yeah, uh, I was thinking of uh, th- that line of by Mir Jinvi, uh, Mir v- Vinji, uh whatever his name is, the, the French guy. Yeah, he says uh, uh, choice is an illusion between those with power and those without it. <laughs> Come on, tell me that's not. It's not really wow. though. Like we, <laughs> like. Oh my God, I keep getting that all the time. When I was wow. when I was in my twenties, <laughs> that shit was deep. When I'm in my forties, I'm like, yes, yeah, so. <laughs> I'm forty Welcome years old. Welcome to being jaded. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. It's it's a natural state. Yeah. <laughs> you, have you listened to any cynicism? You spell that G A V I N. You should listen to our like when we do movie reviews. It's completely oh. and, and B still has some hope. He still has some wonder. I and, know he's got this childlike innocence. I I envy it. I me. envy it. I wish I had I, that. And then I feel bad because then I say something to him and he looks sad from it. I'm like, oh, God damn it. I done, I done took something away from yeah, him. Yeah, you, you, you did something like to life, him. Like life Ex- and society has not taken enough from him. <laughs> exactly. And here I go, just snatching more hope away from him. <laughs> it's like snatching more hope away from him. It's like he walked up and popped his balloon, just like. <laughs> Which means yeah. it's so sad. So. <laughs> Uh, poor B. I'm sorry, B. I'm sorry. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna make it into this world. No, it, it is a good movie. I'm with you on that. I, I, I like. Have, have you guys seen? And no one's seen this movie, but Event Horizon uh, with uh, Lawrence Fishburne. It's a haunted ship. Yeah, and it's a haunted. It's about a haunted spaceship. It's like it's amazing. Oh, I'm gonna say no because I'm a chicken shit with anything that comes. to Did work. you see us yet? Right. Okay. I'm a I'm a 150 percent stereotypical girl in that sense. I oh, you don't want to see this movie then? You don't want no. you don't want to see this one. This one's like okay. legit scary. Couldn't do it. Yeah, yeah this, couldn't someone, do it. This, did someone lose their eyes in there? Yeah, they, they yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There's a scene. I that's probably where I stopped watching something like that. Yeah, there. I was sensitive about that shit. I don't know. Did you guys? I forget. Did you watch yeah. us? Did you guys? You guys watched us, right? 
<laughs> I haven't seen it yet. Let me tell you something, Gavin. <laughs> let me let me let me explain something. You can't hear me shaking We're my head. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> no, it has, nothing, it has nothing to do with being in Ottawa. I mean, okay, the movie's def- playing. Defend us, Carol. Like, no, on. I'm not defending us. I'm going for me. You on oh, your God, own? Come on, what the fuck? No, you, you on your own. This is me pushing you out of the raft. <laughs> Get your own. <laughs> Um, this is why we can't rise as a people. So I, I am, I, I hmm. am the epitome of chicken shit when it comes. Yeah. to this. I did watch right. Get Out. Okay. It took me over a year of numerous people right. saying it wasn't really a horror. I agreed. Yeah. And I had to watch it at home during the daytime. Oh wow! But okay. I need you to understand. Okay. How bad this is yeah. for me. Oh, okay. Do you remember when Dawn of the Dead came out? Yes. Two thousand. That movie was amazing. Great. I'm glad you enjoyed it. There was a trailer. Uh-huh. In one of the trailers, there's a little zombie girl in the woman's house. The lady wakes up. I yes. guess the zombie apocalypse yep. happened while she was asleep. Yeah. The girl is running up the hallway yep. and she closes the door. Uh-huh. Off the trailer, Gavin, uh-huh. I had nightmares for two weeks. <laughs> you, okay, so you, that movie is filmed near my parents' house where I used to live. Like it, I will never that go mall. there. I will never go there. And if you come around me, I will sage you and holy water you. They blew up that Just mall. Just in case. That mall was right there. That's the mall that it's like a shitty mall, but that's yeah, it's that movie is so good. With, okay. with just just so you understand yeah. my level. Gotcha. So when you ask me like, will I see us? Gotcha. I mean, as far as I know, Jordan Peele is saying it is a horror film. I here's 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 I'm like you. I am I'll trust I, you, I, Gavin. Tell yeah. me. I hate horror movies. We we saw uh, that movie at ten AM on a Sunday. Yeah. Uh-huh. We <laughs> went the to the Lord's theater. Day, I noticed Lord's that. Day, I on the Lord's Day. Yeah, we okay. went during the day. We went 10 a.m. I'm like, I got yeah. it. I, I don't go to see horror movies that much. And because sure. I'm terrified of them. But I, this, okay. I'm like, I got to go see Jordan Peele's movies. I have to. Right. Okay. Yeah, so, I know, right? Yeah. I have. It, 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 it's, it is, it, uh, I would say Get Out's better, but Us is like, it it extends what he's trying to say with like, with more things about classism and stuff. It's so good. It's so good. So there's deep, there's deep meaning. Oh yeah, there's how, deep meaning in how it. How terrifying was it? Uh, I, my wife was, said it was terrifying. Oh, I didn't find God it that damn scary. It. God damn it! Because <laughs> well, I want to go see it. Uh, I did I honestly. I did I didn't... read something online that said that they think it's part of like a trilogy. Okay. Or Uh-oh. an anthology series. Like somehow he's going to tie it all together. I didn't do a lot of reading about okay. it because I. Didn't want to find out too much about the movie. I do plan on seeing it. Mm. I just, I need someone who's going to be okay with, you know, me screaming, shrieking. <laughs> What's her name? Who, climbing event. Who's the, who's the lead? What's her name? Lupita Nyong'o. Yeah, she's amazing. Nice. Uh-huh. She's amazing. She's really good in everything except for Black Panther. Whoa. Yeah, that's yeah, no, no. It. It's not her fault. It's not her fault in that movie. But, I'm not saying it's her fault. Yeah, I'm just saying. No, she I agree not, with you. I agree with you. She has a boring she was character. Not good in that movie. She has a boring. Not that she's a bad actress. It uh-huh. was that role was trash. Mm. As much as it was, um, and they well, you Gavin, you and I know this that they rewrote that whole thing with Nakia. Yeah. Because who Nakia was supposed to be? Who was she supposed is, to be? So originally in the comics, she was part of the Dora Milaje. Yes, what right. Also left out is that the Dora Milaje are were gay. technically. Yeah, well, gay, and some of them were also potential wives for Black Panther. Oh. Right? That's why they all came from different regions, oh, right, okay. of the kingdom, so okay. that way everyone had a fair shot at becoming part of royalty. Mm. Oh, wow. So, Nakia was in love <laughs> okay. with T'Challa. T'Challa was like, hey, girl, I'm super cool on you. I'm going to get with this chick over here who was uh-huh. Storm. Yeah. Right? Storm. Oh, Storm. Yes. Word. In the comics, he and Storm get married yes, right. for a while. Anyways, yeah, well, so okay. Nakia's like, what? You going to get with an outsider? Uh, you don't want to get with all of this? Uh-huh. What about everything that we had promised with the Dora Milaje? Uh-huh. You's a bitch. So <laughs> some things happen. She splits <laughs> off. She becomes a little bit of a terrorist, a hired assassin. Oh, wow. She yeah. goes through some things. She comes back as a supervillain named oh. Malice. Wow. That's, she gets yeah. a special armor, right? That's right. Yeah. And, oh, wow. and also, okay. what's her name? becomes Black Panther. Um, his Shuri. sister. Yeah. Siri yeah, becomes because Black Panther. Yeah, yeah. Because T'Challa what? He needs to step down for a minute. Oh, the, wow. it, the comic books has more political. It was written by, um, oh, fuck. Who was it written by? It, it, there's more. The white dude? No, Which no. Uh, Which version? I, the originals? There's a few the versions, but the, uh, what's his yeah. name wrote it? Whoa. To Hensi Coates? Yeah, he wrote it. He, yeah. And there's a lot of political stuff in it. There's a lot of, like, yes. there's okay. a lot of yeah, politics in it. Yeah, if you go to it. the ones, like, in the past, like, 10-ish years, uh-huh. that's who it was, yeah. It's a slower oh, okay. book. It's a very slower yes. book. Uh, it's not, but it's not. It's not based around. It's more about the politics of things, right? And the, yeah, uh, of, yeah. But it, it is. It is enjoyable. Okay. 
Oh wow, that was interesting. I because I I, I I I jumped in on one book with uh, on Tanahisi's uh, run, and I just didn't. I was lost with some of it. So when you... Yeah, you can't... You have really need to read them in succession. Yeah. So, yeah, you explaining, like, I know that when she ran off and she got the armor and stuff and... Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's they had done different variations of that, though, uh, at it's least since awful. the 90s that I know about. Pardon? You know, and there's different... You, I said they've done different variations of that, mm-hmm. of the Malice character, mm. since at least when I was reading it, like, in the... I want to say the late 80s, early 90s, like, around there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they've done a couple different variations, and with some, he stays with Storm. They have a kid, okay. and she has power. Well, anyways, well, y- y- I'm ruining things for people, so let me stop. Okay, okay. But anyways, they were already saying in the movie, Impressive. in the MCU, they will not, Nikio's going to stay good. She's not going to okay, okay, flip-flop, okay. and that was probably at the time when they were filming it and planning it. They didn't okay. know that they were going to end up adopting uh, or getting the Net- or the X-Men characters back. Yeah. Right? Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm, I'm a Blade okay. fan, and... Uh, and, 100%. And a, uh, and a Brother Voodoo. I also love Brother Voodoo. Yep. Brother Voodoo? Brother Voodoo is a voodoo priest who becomes the, um, what's, a Sorcerer Supreme. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, what Doctor Strange is now. Yeah, Doctor Strange oh, is bad. Okay. It's, they always do I'm, this kind I'm of trans- shit. I'm translating for B. I'm translating. Yeah. Because uh, he's, looking, like, he's <laughs> looking up stuff on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear. So, I'm, I'm, trans- I'm translating what you're saying when you said Sorcerer Supreme. You can, you can hear him click, click. Uh, Brother Voodoo, click, 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 click on his keyboard. <laughs> you can hear click, click. I don't know click. why he don't get a soft touch. He's over here using a mechanical. He's trying to be discretion with that shit. Yo, thanks for blowing up my spot, fellas, folks. All right. Um, I, I, all right. What about Black Dynamite? Where does he fit in in all this? Black shit? Dynamite. Black Dynamite's an awesome TV show. Oh shit! I mean, he's a superhero, man. Recognize Black Dynamite is the kung fu guy. Because <laughs> <laughs> you guys are throwing a whole bunch of names, and I'm like, uh, what about Black Dynamite? Eh? About you can't just take the word black and throw it in I front said of a black word. Black Panther. That's you should know Black Panther. Oh, I do. I do. I didn't go obscure. Well, I mean, you're, I didn't know about malice and all that. You're just <laughs> taking black and throwing it in front of words. It doesn't work. Yeah. No. What about Black Paperclip? Watch. What about wait, him? Wait, 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 watch, 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 watch. Let's see if I can throw him off. What about Black? Adam, have you heard read the news about Black Adam? Yeah, isn't that the Rock play? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you guys were really talking about Black Adam. Hey, go listen to Gavin. I thought you guys were talking about Black Adam. <laughs> he doesn't think it's a real character. <laughs> no, I thought she's fucking. With, you guys are fucking. With no, no, Black Adam is Shazam's uh, nemesis. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Show some respect. Jesus, I. <laughs> I love B. Yeah, fuck DC. <laughs> not, not to the DCEU, but show some respect to DC. Hey, I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. If you are, do me a favor. Go to iTunes right now. Leave a comment. Leave a rating. It'll help us out so much. Hey, also, if you want to follow us on social media, that'd be great. You can follow us on Twitter at MRD Podcast, on Facebook at Master Race Debaters, and on Instagram at MRD Podcast. We're also on YouTube. If you had uh, comments and suggestions or just want to drop us and say, hey, fuck you guys, you can email us at masterrdpodcast at gmail.com. Yes, we'll take your emails. We'll respond. Trust me. We got nothing better to do. Anyway, here we go. Without further ado, me and B Black getting back into it. Uh, we're talking about Blade on this. Uh, this this is our final episode of the season, and I want to go out on Blade. I, 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 it's a good one. It's a good movie. Uh, you guys all watch it. You loved it, right? No, no. I, I shouldn't put those words. I shouldn't. I'm leading you. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm leading you. Sorry. No, I, I legitimately do love that movie. I do too. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. This, yeah. B, did you like? The, did you like it? Let me play devil's advocate. Okay, um, go ahead. <laughs> no, <I'm fucking> with <laughs> you. Okay, okay. So the, the confession is, I'm questioning whether I've ever seen Blade One. Yeah. Because. Everything was a shock to me. Yeah. Uh, I mean, not shock, but surprise to me. But and I did enjoy it. And two, uh, yo, it's as if it was recorded, not the special effect parts, but um, 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 the female characters who, who, who fight. Yeah. Who, who you jump in. I thought that was like a, a newish thing. Like, uh, Oh, you mean like how like there's no love interest stuff in there? There's no love interest. Yeah. yeah and they punch women. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, sure, they can fight, too, but I'm just saying, I yeah. thought that was a, a millennium thing. I didn't know they did that in the 90s. Yeah, they did that in the... You were from the... You lived... Uh, anyway. 
you know, usually the bad guy, like, like, like Terminator, only shoots you know dudes. You know the guards are. Yeah, dudes, true, you know. true. You're right. Yeah, just in case, just in case, <laughs> you know, said no one wants to be influenced uh, when the Terminator shoots a woman. Exactly. Yeah. He's a he's a he's a man killing robot from the future, but he don't punch no chicks. So, so yeah, I, I I love I love this movie. You know I for, I forgot about and I'm it's hard for me. Like fight scenes are actually f- choreographed fight scenes. Yes, yeah, indeed. Yep, uh-huh. that's I think my main thing that I liked about it. Yeah, the uh, the fight scenes. Yeah, the worst fight scene for me in the movie was the last one against uh, Stephen Dorff. Uh, spoiler alert: if you if you haven't seen this movie, you know. I don't know why you listen to this podcast, but yes, we're going to talk about what happens in it. Yes, I, that's the only fight scene I didn't. I was like, "Huh." But it's when he's like he's got all of his powers yes. and like Blade yeah. tries to slice him up and he like brings himself. I feel like that's my main memory is him bringing himself back together yeah. from his like torso and and Blade is that when Blade goes like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. Oh, but, right. like, yeah. Well, it, it's the special effects are terrible. Like they're they're just compared yeah. to today, oh, they're yeah. like, "Oh, whoa, whoa." Oh, compared to today, yeah. Yeah. It's like they're using screensaver special effects. <laughs> I was I was happy that I like prepared myself for that before I rewatched. I was like, hilarious. "Yeah, it's probably not going to be great." Yeah. Like hilarious. But Wait, the f- so when you guys first did you guys see it in theaters? Or I like, saw it in theaters. It? I saw it in theaters. I didn't see it in theaters. Daniel's I, younger I than saw us. It on home video. Yeah. Yeah. How old oh, are you? Okay. I'm 33. Oh, so well, I'm yeah, so you're 10 years younger, so yeah. Okay, okay. You would have okay. been a baby when we went to see this in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I don't think I was allowed to see it in no. theaters. So, so you know what I mean? That's be one of those ones where I, I hide the rating on the box when we go to Blockbuster. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, my parents that, yeah. are like, okay, I guess we could rent this. <laughs> <laughs> and watch Blade. What, what yeah. was it rated? It's R. Oh, is it? Oh yeah, that makes sense. It's, it, that, that's one of those weird things. Like when I when I would go to the store because I remember another Wesley Snipes movie. I I tricked my parents in letting into letting me rent Demolition Man. Oh yeah, because oh, yeah, okay. the the case that like Blockbuster had was a lower rating than the actual case. Ah. So like the whole time we're watching it, my parents are like, so what? Just because they don't have sex in this movie, it's not rated R. This is the foul <laughs> language. There's <laughs> there's violence. And I was just like, yeah, I can't believe they got away. Oh, you did. They ruined the movie while you're watching the movie. No, it did not ruin it for me okay. at all. I was like, I mean, at least you're not saying I can't watch this. I saw that. In, I saw that one in the theaters too. So okay. yeah, I saw I saw a Demolition Man in theaters too. I uh, sorry, go ahead, B. No, I said black superhero because uh, that movie employed a lot of black actors. I mean, it that did. That's that's the other thing that impressed me. Like, you know what I loved about Blade? It, like on a second on watching it again, second watching on a nineteenth twentieth watching, I enjoyed the world building it has. Like there's a, like a scene where he goes buys his syrup from a guy, right? Th- and it's like right, yeah. There's a relationship I didn't remember between that scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's just a, there's a relationship between these two, and I'm like, mm. what is that from? Like it's just, but you can tell there's like there's you know there's a history. There's a history to Blade. Yeah. And the history right. to like the the world is very is very real and, and it has depth. Like uh like okay. when, when they go to um to to the second uh when they go to the fat vampire guy in the archives uh, and the Japanese right. the Japanese girls are rapping. Yeah, yeah right, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, all that kind yeah. of stuff just adds like a lot of detail to this movie. Okay. Uh huh. What one thing I want to say is, uh, in addition to really d- liking that Wesley Snipes got to do pretty much whatever he wanted in this movie, yeah, I legitimately liked uh, Deacon Frost. Like, yeah, I didn't remember thinking he was that interesting, but like upon second watch, I was like, no, he's just like he's got his own thing going on too. Like he he pretty much doesn't really care about Blade until he has to, and he's just doing yeah. his own thing. And he's pretty calm, cool, and collected. And I, I kind of liked that, that it made him a little more menacing, that he wasn't, like, flying off the handle all the time. Well, yeah, he's fighting his own kind in this. And there's this idea of, like, the the, the purebreds and the, you know, yes. the right, yeah. muggles uh-huh. or whatever. Uh-huh. <laughs> whatever. Oh, yeah, because he was turned. Yeah, so he, he was uh, turned. He didn't get to be considered. Uh... Yeah, so I, I liked all that, and I, I liked... I obviously really liked Wesley Snipes because he's actually well. I don't know how much of it he's actually doing, but it looks like he's actually doing the fighting, and like yeah. he just yeah. looks cool while he's doing all the stuff. <laughs> yeah. 
he brought style to that shit. You know what I mean? That that first scene, I can watch that over the one where in the blood, the blood. Uh, yes, yes, when he like fuck. kills all of them at the rave. Yeah, that yeah. scene I can watch over and over again with that music. It's just yeah. like, oh uh-huh. wow, this is not cheesy at all. Uh, no. uh-huh. uh, it's funny you were talking. We were. Um, um, I did not see the movie, but I do remember a friend who saw the movie mm-hmm. and was bothered by that opening scene where the blood just falls on everyone <laughs> and he's surrounded by a vampire and he's like, yo, that shit fucked me up, man. There's a dude telling me this. <laughs> he said someone, that shit fucked him up. I feel like I should have had that reaction, but I was just like, okay, cool. I, I, I know what I'm in for now. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> yo, I watched The Great Muppet Caper. That shit fucked me up. Those... <laughs> When Kermit was riding the bike, those Kermit legs, that shit fucked me up. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's like your friend got fucked up. You know what I mean? Maybe because maybe it opens up with, you know, he's with a pretty girl. Yeah. He's about to get it on and then, uh, whoop, boner interrupted. So, uh, yeah, but I've never sat in a movie and gotten a boner. There's never been a time in a movie where I'm like... <laughs> They, I thought he meant the ad, like the character's boner was interrupted. Not oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> the, character, yeah, no. the characters. Well, that guy came in like, I, I'm like, oh, this is like every white dude. Like, they just walk into a thing, comfortable right. as shit. Comfortable as shit. <laughs> just like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> Bumping into people. Wow. <laughs> and then just, <laughs> just clueless. You know, He's he, here, right? he still <laughs> stuck with it, even though it looked like a terrible. Like, I feel like there's a point where he, he's like, Oh, I should get out of here. And he's like, nah, like, I'll, I'll still figure this out. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Let, you know, how, how bad could this be? There's blood on me. Let me we'll just like, sit we'll through this. That brings him, pushes him away or something. And then he's like, nah, I'll figure this out. <laughs> yeah, ex- exactly. It's like, no, I still got a chance with them. Yeah. Fuck. But that, that whole, like, him lighting the dude on fire, that, that fist thing he does when he sh- fires a shotgun at him, he goes, ugh. It's all it's yes. cheesy. It's 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 uh-huh. cheesy. Good, it, uh-huh. yeah. It's all of it. It's awesome. I just yes, yeah. It's just yeah. <laughs> the only line that he says where I was like, I don't, I don't like it. I, mostly because I thought it was from the second movie, but I think it's like the like one of the last things he says. Like he kills one of the last bad guys, and he's just like some motherfucker's always trying to skate, skate up uphill. Hill. Yeah. Or, <laughs> I'm just like ah, that was cooler than I like. I I feel like I remembered it being cooler, and it didn't really. Yeah. but like literally everything else he does in in this movie, I was like, no, I'm I'm on board. Like, no, there's also I think there's like the also sorry, the 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 one where he's like um where he, he he they use her for bait, and he's outside, and he's like, yep. you better wake up. There's two worlds. There's, <laughs> <laughs> there's a shirt coat yeah, world. <laughs> <laughs> I would have drifted off right there. When you, there's a sugar coated world and there's a real world, and if you're not ready to pull the trigger, and I'm just like, uh, uh, are you talking to me? Is that? Do you guys want you want to go get a shake? I. But yeah, I'll, yeah. Um, sorry. So one thing that like rewatching it, I did not notice the first time was that at random times it's important that he's black, like. Yeah, when the movie starts, they make they make a point of showing his mom's ID dropping out of her mm-hmm. bag and showing that she it says Negro on her ID. Oh, no. okay, okay. and I was just like, huh, interesting. And then um, uh-huh. I feel, and then Deacon Frost calls Blade and Uncle Tom. Well, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, <laughs> I was like, oh, like those are like. I feel like there's another time, but other than that, it doesn't seem to matter. Like, especially like how he doesn't really care about cops. Like when they shoot him, and he's yeah. like, "Motherfucker, is you crazy?" Yeah. <laughs> and, he, like, <laughs> and he beats up a cop like in the middle of the street, and no one does anything about it. Yep. Well, yeah, like yeah, shoves yeah. him in a trunk. Well, even that yeah. dude, the dude that loses his hand, calls him bright eyes, which is like a racial slur from like right. it's I, old. Yeah. I knew there was another. Yeah, because I, Br- I think eyes? Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio uses that in Django. Yeah, it's it's that an was the old, first time I'd heard it. It's an old racist slur from way back when. Bright eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit! Yo, that's the last you guys picked up on that. I was about to joke about the uh, this daywalker. Their way of saying nigger is that the <laughs> you guys. You got bright eyes. I did not know that. Yeah. Uh, well, they, Daywalker, they all want to be like him, right? So they all want, yeah, yeah. So I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think it's sad. I think it's just. No, I, I, it's as if I was trying to make the same observation Daniel made, and I'm like, hey, no, you know, there was no racial thing in this thing. You know, I, I didn't pick up what Daniel just 
uh, uh, brought out. Yeah. And the only thing I stuck to was, you know, hey, uh, Daywalker. <laughs> About that turn. And, yeah, sorry. Do, do, do you guys do you guys remember Blade Two? Yeah, a little bit. Like I I remember it because like it seemed like the he was fighting like ninja vampires. Yeah, like yeah. there was like a, was that a brother and sister? I just remember like there was a pair of them and they come. And yeah, they, was, like that crazy fight. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in the, and he has to work with Ron Perlman and yes. stuff, and I'm pretty sure yes. Ron Perlman's the bad guy. Sorry for yeah. spoiling that movie too, but. <laughs> Because he has like a lot more cool lines in that, or maybe yep. if I see it, they won't seem cool. But like, I just remember like he kind of got to expand on that portion of himself. Blade Two is like aliens, where Blade, Blade One is yeah, more right. like alien, and Blade Two is like alien. Like it's like there's like a team, and then, you know they're fighting yes. this thing. It's a little bit scarier. Mm. Actually, I would say yes. it's a lot yeah. more scarier than the first one. Mm. Yeah, because the first one doesn't really try and. I mean. It's gory, but they don't really try and scare you. No, they don't. Yeah, no, they they don't. But like, I, I, I was, yeah, the second one, there's like a scene where uh, one of the guys, one of the samurai guys, who's in uh, who's in Rogue One, that guy, he stabs someone, one of the vampires, and they like pull themselves up the wall and like rip themselves in half off the sword. Mm. So oh, wow. yeah, oh, yeah, okay. So there's yeah, a lot right. of that shit. That's Guillermo, Guillermo del, del Toro. Did that movie uh, and this one? Yeah. yeah, I don't know who did this one. I forget his name. Oh, so I looked him up because I was like, "It's crazy that he did it." He only he's only ever done four movies. Really? He's, his, yeah, his name is Stephen Norrington, and I I can't remember anything else about him other than his like his movies are Death Machine in '94, mm-hmm. Last Minute in 2001, and then League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Oh, oh, that's right. He... So that was his last movie and Sean Connery's last movie. <laughs> that's and why it was his last other, apparently. <laughs> that's why it was their last movies. Yeah. Yeah, he quit after that movie. Sean Connery, yeah. yeah. Okay. It looks like uh, both of them did. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um what was I gonna say to you? So and then we get to the the Blade trilogy, the last one, which was just So that was directed by the guy who wrote the first two movies. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, was it? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, Goyer. David S. Goyer. Yes. Yeah. And he he did like a little bit of, or I guess he did like the second and third Batman in the Christopher Nolan movies. Oh. He's done, he's done a couple of, I think he's like back in the day when Hollywood needed a comic book movie that was David S. Goyer. He was the guy. Uh, yeah. So uh, now someone just told us last night that Maharsha Ali is playing Blade now. Is that true? I don't think it is, but I would love it if that happened. Yeah. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> but uh, I think I think that's like I saw someone else post that like Idris Elba's James Bond. I think that's just one of those like oh, okay. hopefully that happens, oh, but it's I not see, really. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, I was wrong. I just just in case your fans are listening, he wrote all three of the Batman movies, and apparently he's got writing credit on Batman vs Superman. Yeah, but that uh, writing credit doesn't really mean much because it's like yeah. a million people well, touch yeah. that script. That's true. <laughs> like it, 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 they, I, I don't know if they put the last name or someone, the original writer, but yeah, a million people have written that script. So yeah, so when they say because yeah, I, I saw his name in uh, in in Blade in the opening credits, but I'm sure like Wesley Snipes had a lot of, to say on that on that script oh, in yeah. that movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it seems like he really liked it, and like good for him, like that he really like cared about the character and, and wanted to see it do well. Yeah, yeah, I I, I, I wish he, they would let him play it again because I mean they say that Blade ages n- normally, so why can't we? Yeah, see? I would, and I mean not that it was a great movie, but he was in one of the Expendable movies. So yeah, he's still doing action stuff. So yeah. He could, probably pull it off or he could be like the new mentor and he could still have a couple of scenes and then pass it off because i think in the comics like it's his daughter now yeah yeah i don't know if i don't they probably cancel that comic but yeah you know because there's there's a whole there's a whole sjw comics gate thing right now sorry what were you saying b what what no no uh, i was clarification the the blade comic book yeah well yeah. yeah Yeah, and, and the daughter's now okay. So well, they, I don't know if it's like that anymore because that was a few years ago, and uh, okay. there's been like, there's a whole comics gate thing where there's like what happened with Gamergate is happening in right. comics right now, where white dudes are mad about SJWs ruining comics. Oh, <laughs> yes. Even though, like, I did learn that, like, because I always 
uh, after seeing the movie, I'm like, wait. It just back then, I was like, no, all comic book characters are white. Was Blade always meant to be a black person? And it turns out, yes, he was. Yeah, so I, that, I'm just, I was really happy about that. Him and Spawn, I think, because I feel like they came out like within a year of each that's other. That's right, right. And I was like, right. oh, good, good. And then, and then we got X Men, and they were like, black superheroes. What are you talking about? <laughs> and then, <laughs> until and, I mean, Storm was there, wasn't she? I guess, but and then she like gave up on her accent. Yeah, she totally let it go. Yeah, but like, like I mean, we didn't see a black, like a main black superhero no, until it took years. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. until Black Panther, really. Until Black Panther. But, um, yeah. Another thing I pointed uh, that I learned, uh, not learned, but noticed was Sanaa Lathan plays his mom. Yeah, There's two things that bruh, bruh, struck bruh. me about that. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. The That's... only like sexual stuff that happens is between Sanaa Lathan and Wesley Snipes. Yeah. She's like kind of trying to seduce him. But also, like she's playing a vampire then again, spoilers. And then I all I could keep thinking was, isn't she the one that everyone thinks bit Beyonce? And like it just all it was coming together for me while I was watching it. But she's biting people in real life and in the movie. Oh, did, is there like I'm sorry, I'm not caught up on what is a bit Beyonce? What happened with that? Like I don't. So there was this thing where like Tiffany okay. Haddish, when she was getting popular, everyone like was having her on talk shows and stuff because she was she witnessed at some like Oscar party that an actress bit Beyonce in the face. Jeez. And then, like <laughs> oh, and like. And so, like, there was just this whole thing, and then I think at some point, everyone was like, "Yeah, it was Sonal Lathan." Like, wow. it was like she was one of the names that, like, at first people were like, "Oh, it's probably Lena Dunham or like Amy yeah, Schumer." Yeah, yeah. But then <laughs> there was like Tiffany was like, "No, it wasn't." You're thinking about them. What, Hello, what you, what's going on, yeah. B? Sorry, it's in the. Ba- <laughs> I loaded it. Uh, I googled it, and uh, and and one of those sites with several pops up came up. Oh. Um, <laughs> no, not a porn site. Sorry, that came out wrong. <laughs> Sorry, you were, I didn't mean to interrupt. You were saying, um, yeah. That's- oh, yeah, just that she wow. bit her on the face. Because she made a tweet being like, if I did bite her, it would have been a love bite. Why did she bite then, her? It, I I think the idea is that she was just so high that she was out of her mind. I've been high. I, wow. I've never been anyone. So have anyone. I, but I've never wanted to bite That's what I mean. That's my point. Wow. Like, I'm tired of people blaming drugs on all sorts of shitty behavior. <laughs> Like leave drugs alone, man. Let drugs but be. I okay. How am I just hearing about this story now? And two. So was it like? <laughs> was it like? I I, I like kind of re- response or was it like? Oh, that's terrible. We need to hang. I whoever. think people were just like, don't hurt Beyonce. But don't hurt Beyonce. I, yeah. <laughs> but I don't think with the ultimately she ultimately she kind of just was like, well. Yeah, obviously I, it was me. Ever, there's there's witnesses and like she kind of wow. just took a back seat and like didn't say much for, for it. But I I I guess what I'm saying is she showed a lot of promise in this movie. And then, like, <laughs> yeah. You, oh, good you, point you, for real. You, you, <laughs> skip, you skip forward and it's like yeah, she's she's most famous for biting Beyonce in the face right now. I, Damn. Yeah, there's there's a couple of uh, actors in that. And I'm like, what happened to them? Like yeah. There's a uh, few people. What's her name? Nim, Nim Bush, right? How do you pronounce her name? Yeah, like I, I was not even going to attempt. Yeah, I, I, I feel like anything I say will sound insulting. <laughs> That's that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, All right, Gavin. Thank you. All right. Yeah, Miss Wright. Keep our black card. Mrs. Wright. Mrs. Wright. Mrs. Wright. Mrs. Wright. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, she was great in that. Too, yeah, she anyway. was great, and it was it was a good character she that like she's like this person that's like you know she's a doctor and she's and she's actually using her profession to to yes. fight vampires i thought that was cool yes. i thought it was like yeah, and she like saves him at the end because yeah. she's like here like i i figured this thing out and you, you can make vampires blow up or whatever also she saves herself yes she saves herself she saves exactly. oh yeah because she's like down in the pit and then like her co-worker tries to attack but her. she also cures her vampirism like right. if, if you look at the whole I, I movie, about she saves herself constantly. That's what, yeah, okay. So this was a progressive movie. For, I, uh, I, I guess. I mean, what what was it with? Like, I'm trying to find anything racial in it, other than what we said. Is did you guys see anything that was like? Hmm? Uh, no. no but other gotta, than he literally has to feed off of her to get his power back. Yeah. At the end. I don't know. If there, yeah. There yeah. might be something there. Yo, there's uh-huh. about, you think? That she has to sacrifice herself basically so he can keep going. Yeah. So yeah. Fuck. There might be something there. I, uh, <laughs> I, Do you I, think? No. A, uh, someone else. Who, Maybe not. <laughs> there's another one who deserves props. Is uh, Ebony Adams? You guys know that name? No. 
Ebony Adams. No. So she's the little girl. Oh, yes. Or the younger girl uh, who Blade thinks she needs to be rescued. And it's actually, uh, they use her as bait. And then yeah. she does a few karate moves on her. On him. So right, like, right. Yeah. Ebony, her name is Ebony Adams. And apparently that's her thing. She's an actress. Yeah. Uh, I haven't, I'm going for her list of movies. I think they found her in a, in a dojo or someone's dojo. And they, oh, yeah, I think it was the guy that's like, he was a, the, the fight choreographer. I could be wrong, but I think that's what happened. Yeah, okay. again, like, that's that's a great, like, he went to save this little girl who's like, doesn't need saving. Right. I don't right. know if they were trying to be progressive or they were like, okay, let's, let's make a movie that, like, plays against tropes. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good job, then. Yeah. 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 Other than Whistler saving also- Blade. Oh, I mean, yeah, I guess he has to. But I kind of like how they played that one, too, where, or at least for me, in the moment, I wasn't thinking, like, oh, man, he's, he needs the help of this white guy. Like, it just seemed like that was legitimately his only, like, father figure. Yeah. He cared for him. I, I, I bought that. And I guess, is does he almost die in every movie? Because I feel like every movie there's a scene where, like, you think... Whistler's dead, but he's he's fine. In the in the second he he they bring him back from the dead. Oh, okay. Oh, that was yeah. They bring him back from the dead. Is that what happens? Because I feel like I feel like he dies in every movie. Trilogy, he's (laughs) trilogy. He doesn't show up. He's already dead. Okay, I think yeah. He's already dead, and then yeah, he runs into uh and, and like all the other characters are just completely. See, I, I always tell people this. Do you remember that movie about vampires? It's like it, it ta- it's about like it's a world full of vampires, but they're running out of blood. Oh, oh, no. uh, day something. Yes, uh, that was supposed to be the third va- blade. Apparently, oh, that was supposed to be a blade movie. That was supposed to be blade like in in wandering the earth where everyone is just a vampire. Okay, and, I would watch that. Yeah, they never did. They okay. did trilogy instead. So uh, they did trilogy instead. So that's interesting. I just googled Daywalker. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, okay, and it shows uh, Blade Wiki, and it shows the character, the villain from the third one, um, from the third Blade, right now. Is Dracula? Sure he's Dracula. He's Dracula. Right? Yeah, and they were gonna do a Deacon Frost movie, but I guess they're not doing that. Mm. No. <laughs> yeah, that's uh okay. You guys, do you want to rate this movie? Do you want to get what rating? Uh, it's middle fingers. We don't have a <laughs> no, we don't have a positive no, no. rating. For, for so yeah, no that's way. what I was gonna no say. Way. I feel no, like there's no, no middle fingers. No, middle I'm fingers, not giving any man. middle fingers to Blade. I mean, he could, he, he could have killed more white people, but you know, I mean, besides that, uh, yeah. <laughs> he did kill a lot. He did he kill did. a lot of white people. See, see, he, see, you guys are you guys, you know, uh, uh, glass half empty right now, man. He could have killed more. That's what I'm saying. This right? this is fair enough. This, and he had another black friend that I forgot about that you told, you yeah. you reminded me of, like the person that he goes to get his like medicine from. Yeah, the only white person that helps is Whistler. Is yeah. Whistler, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and he yeah. doesn't even go out of his way to save him, like when they're in the subway. No. He's just like, nah, he can take care of he himself. He can take care and of himself, like, oh, yeah. Good for you, Blade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I got no middle, I got no middle figures. Well, no you, middle figures. No, killing no, more, no. when you say kill more white people, Bla- uh, B, we're going to get old white dudes getting mad at us about racism against them. <laughs> <laughs> what if I said that about black people? You don't have to, it, it happens. Hey, you, you know what's interesting? At the risk of this going off off tangent, uh, whatever, we'll hit, we'll hit stop. But um, while I was watching this movie, I was thinking of that uh, post that went up about why uh, conservatives are attracting racist people, yeah, and things like that. White, na- anyway, the, the word in white nationals came up, and I was thinking of the vampire he was talking about, or uh, what's the bad guy's name again? A Deacon uh, Frost. Deacon. Deacon Frost yeah. talking about, man, fuck those guys, man. We're better than them. Let's get rid of them. And the whole time I'm thinking, you know what? If I had to pick sides between the vampires and a white nationalist, I'm going with the vampires, man. Because white nationalists ain't looking out for us. Well, if we, yeah, if I had, neither if are vampires, <laughs> but vampires, you're just a food source. That's I, okay. You know, you think white nationalists? I ain't siding with no niggers to save humanity. <laughs> if you're in a saying. if you're in a world with that's your choices, you're you're fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, pretty much. Alien race came down to wipe out humanity, and it's me and a white nationalist. Uh-huh. I don't trust that dude to like <laughs> stick me in the back once we get rid of the aliens. It's true. You, know I mean? you got a good point. <laughs> you got a good. I would sign with aliens. I would sign. Everyone yeah. else, yeah, but white nationalists. Eh. 
I, I already, you guys have a history. I already went with the white nationalists. Let me see what the aliens will do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. Let, let's see what the aliens will do. I already, I've, I've been through this thing. <laughs> they might give me a quick death. At the, you know what I mean? I, I'll endure that. <laughs> Daniel, uh, I, I think we're going to close on that. Thanks a lot for doing this again. This is the last episode oh, of the thank season. Thank you. Yeah, I mean-